I don't think there is a more divisive issue facing us today than this issue of climate change. And in particular, the assertion that there is a climate crisis, that there is a climate emergency, uh, as you believe. Um, the concern I have, and this goes to my question, is we've not been able to get folks on the left into a dialogue about this. There's a sense in which people feel as though uh, it's beneath them to, to have this discussion. You yourself have said that you don't believe people on the other side should have a platform to put their views. I don't think, I, I don't recall yeah. ever saying that. Yeah, you that. have said that. Maybe you've changed your mind. The it point, sound like you. Right, right. The point I'm trying to get to is we really need to have a discussion about this. We need to bring people together to talk about About this, the reality of climate change. About the reality that there is a climate crisis, that there is an emergency, as opposed to that there are concerns that we need to be, uh, that we need to take up together and move forward. Thus far, we've not been able to get folks into that conversation. And it's kind of a widespread phenomenon. There's a widespread phenomenon of deplatforming scientists who don't follow this alarmist kind of agenda. So my question is, will you and will you encourage people like my friend Alan Journey and others to come together and have this conversation? Because otherwise, you're right. We're headed towards this constant kind of tension. And the last thing I would say, uh, and again, not taking any sides on this, but we have noticed when we talk about No, no, I'm not taking a side on this. No, we're not. We don't well, take a side on this. And then we'll let others. We listen to what conservatives say. And what conservatives are saying is a lot of their frustration is this sense that we have people that say that they're evil, people who say that somehow this is criminal, that they are skeptical about this idea that there is a climate emergency. Uh, will you encourage that? Will people here in the room come together and have a real community conversation about the issue? Are, are any of us qualified to actually have a granular discussion about climate since we are not adequately trained in the level of, of science to sort the data firsthand and make those kinds of determinations? You have to be in a position to have first-hand data, otherwise you are hearing things second-hand. How can we be qualified to have the truly precise conversation you're recommending? Can I say one more thing, and that is, I'm going to be doing a talk on Earth Day right here at 7 p.m., and the goal again is to put, kind of broadly speaking, the different views up on the board and let people have a conversation. Let's have a citizen-based debate about this in the spirit of true deliberative democracy. Okay, let me, I want to say one or two things and open the floor because I, I feel people, people just kind of pulsating on this issue. I'm going to say you're mistaken that I've ever said or thought that uh, people who don't believe in the climate emergency I should be deplatformed and not be able to put their... Well, you did, your, you did say it, and maybe you've changed your mind. Yeah, I, I think you're mistaken about that, but let's leave that. I have said that I am not interested... That, to me, climate change is distinctive, unique of my issues in one way, which is that I am done personally debating the severity of, yes, what I call a climate crisis. In my belief that of the willingness to do that, and I, I really at the moment can't think of any other issue where I will refuse to take part. My belief at this point, in all that I can tell, not as someone who strives to read and educate, not as a scientist, <coughs> is that the cost of continuing that discussion, that debate, let's bring everybody in, let's have this, is the newest chapter of delay of something that we're 30 or 40 years late doing. Most of the other issues that we can think of, guns, you know, there, I think there's a plausible case that we have a gun crisis given our rate of gun death relative to all other countries. But if you want to say you're convening something with people who feel very differently, I'll show up. I'll bet there's plenty I could learn. I'd like to have my say. That's great. Clim I don't see a big cost to doing that. Climate, we, we've delayed this just too long. 
I don't know. You can't say there is 100% consensus. There isn't. There is a remarkable degree of agreement of, of climatologists, not on specifics. What's the right year that's the turning point to, you know, negative feedback? What, what exactly, you know, is, is the right carbon dioxide concentration level that will kill us? There isn't a degree on that. But um, I'm not in anymore for discussions on whether or not there's a climate crisis. I want to be, and I, and I will not deny the platform or right of others to feel different.